Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We're starting off where we stopped last time, which was we have all of the duct tape stripped off the wires, and now I have to lengthen them all. So I'm going to start with the little things down here. I'm probably going to add about six inches of wire to them, just so I can stretch them and get it under the seat, just so I don't have them on the floor here. So. I'm going to start with that first, and I'll be back when I get the first one done. Okay, I got the first wire, or I got the first part stretched out a bit. I put exactly six inches of wire in between it. You can see it's a blue and white stripe and a green and white. It goes into two black wires, so that's going to be really fun to uh, decipher later. And it can come out right on the same side, same color and everything. And now, I can actually make it up to the seat, or if I want to, get the flashlight, it's dark now, I can put it right under there, and it still has plenty of room to stretch. So that's good. So now this wire can come off to the side, because it's done now. And I get to move on to... any of these really I'll probably go on to one of these two but I'm gonna do that tomorrow because it's getting doesn't look like it's getting late but it is about to be five and once it hits like quarter after five it's gonna be uh, pitch black so I'll pick this back up tomorrow it's been a couple days and I ended up stretching out another piece I'm not really sure what this is it's like a little light panel. Anyway, uh, there was a few more wires this time. I think there were seven. But I made a mistake that could have easily been avoided. Some of the wires didn't need to be lengthened. Because these wires, yeah, they had to be lengthened because they start up over there. But like the orange wire, it's already coming from that way. So I just cut it for no reason. And I think there was... I think this... There was a different wire that was coming from that way, too. Actually, a few of them. Yeah, so now now I know to actually check which way the wire comes from before I cut. Because that could have saved me, like, half an hour of time. But, now that that's done, I only have one more thing left to do on the floor, which is this. So, I'm going to make sure to find out which way the wires come from. I can already see the blue one doesn't need to be cut. So... I'll be back when that's done. It's the next day and I got the switch done, the overdrive switch. And I forgot to show it. They both fit in there well, but I forgot to show there's actually a, another switch over here. It was a connector for the uh, brake lights. So I did that really quick. In total, it was, uh, I think each wire's around like 18 inches. But I did manage to get it over into that little cubby hole. So the brake wire can come across, well, from the brake switch and go straight over there. And that way it's fairly out of the way. There's no, there's no like weight on it or anything. And it's, it's uh, good over there. Fairly out of the way. So that's all good. And uh, now I'm starting to move on to the upper stuff. I have the headlight switch right here which is going to be a pain to get to. And I have the turn signals over here, which is going to be even more of a pain to get to, considering I can't even get the camera there. So, I think I'm going to do the turn or the uh, headlight switch first. It seems easier, just because at least there I can still get under the uh, steering wheel. But for the turn signals, that's actually going to be painful because where I'm sitting right here, I like it's kind of hard to get uh, my hand over. I can go through the steering wheel, and I guess that's probably how I'm going to work, but it's still not really easy. That wire is very taut, too, so I don't know. So I don't know uh, how easy it's going to be. But in the meantime, uh I'm just happy that I got everything on the floor done and 
guess now I have to go to the headlight switch, so I'll be back when I make progress on that. It's been six days since the last clip. It's a nice warm day, and I finally got the headlight switch done. It's taken so long because, well, there's 11 wires, which you can see, it's quite a lot. 12, actually, if you include this one. I had work, I had school, uh, the weather decided to go negative eight for like a few days and the wind was horrible. But now that it's all good, I got all of this stuff done like an hour. So now that that's done, I can move on to the last thing, which is the turn signals. Now, it should be easier to get than the headlight switch because for the headlight switch, I was laying down on the seat. So I was laying down sideways like this. I have one arm over top of the steering wheel like this, just so I can grab the wires. It was not a comfortable position, but hopefully this wire should be easier. Cause it's just right here. And once that's done, I think that should be it, or that should be it. Cause yeah, it should be. One more thing though, there's at least 15 wires in there, so that's not going to be fun. But should be easier to reach, so hopefully it'll be a better experience. So I'm going to start working on that, and if I get to anything interesting, I'll, I'll be back. I have learned something uh, major. I don't have to cut any of these wires. Whoops. I uh, should have looked before I started cutting. I don't know when I will stop making this mistake, if I ever do stop. But yeah, apparently this wire is long enough to go to where I want it. It's not holding back anything. It's kind of hard to see. I can barely even get my neck down here. Uh, but yeah, it's... I think that blue connector bit and the duct tape wire that's like just right above my knee. Those are what's holding it down, which they're not even too short. It's just they're bent and crumpled. So a little bit of straightening, they'll be fine. But yeah, so I don't have to cut that. That's really good because I don't want to. It's a lot of wires to lengthen. So I'm just going to reconnect this stuff. And that should be all unless I find something else. So be back when that's done. I got that wire patched back up. And I also did a few other things. I found a new spot for the fuse box. It will be there, fuse box slash blinkers. So that's where that is. I got the headlight switch up where it's gonna be. And I just did a little bit of poking around, cleaning up some wires. I just sorted these wires out, straightened them up. Cause uh, I think that's it. There is one more thing I have to do. It's down in there, it's the uh, cigarette lighter, like the uh, socket. I have to do that, it's somewhere on the dash there. Yeah, that little delete button above that ratchet. It ends up being like around here-ish. So I'm gonna wait till the dash is in before I lengthen that out, because I don't know how much wire I'm gonna need to bring it over here, because I don't wanna end up having it get cut like halfway here. So I'm going to wait to do that, but for now, I think this is all pretty good. I did a lot of wiring, but now I can actually like sit here and put my feet on the floor. Like, yeah, it's not completely flat, but I also don't have a massive hump in the floor like that. So this is a lot better. And there's, I still have to do a little bit of sorting out like that. I'm going to have to take duct tape off, spread it out. Same with around there, but. For now, all of the wiring I have to do is done. I'm going to have to do just a lot of relocating because that stuff shouldn't be there. Uh, the gauges have to be moved. But for now, I'm happy. And now I get to start working on the gauges. The entire reason I started doing this. So The next video, I'm going to do all of that and hopefully finish this up. So... Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.